All right. Here we go. So we're going to combine all this together in one very long week about lubrication, cooling, and to some extent engine operation. We're going to start off with oil. We're going to start off with the wrong color. You know, it's going to be a great day. All right. So the functions of oil. Functions of oil. Oil is a pretty important thing to our, our engines. It provides a lot of different things that it does. And, and you know, we'll talk about oil. There's a lot to know about oil. And as an aircraft mechanic, it's probably one of the number one questions that I, that I get is, is about oil. And not only do I have to answer that question, and you will too at some point, hey, what oil should I use? And you have to have a good answer. You know, what do you think about this over that one? And if you don't have a good answer, people just kind of go, Are you sure I should be, you know. So it's just one of those things that owners like to ask about. And so you have to have a good answer or, or be able to, to speak intelligently of it, or you're not going to have much credibility. Uh, two, it, it's something that um, you use for diagnostic purposes. So yeah, it's, there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot to think about with it. It's just something that is taken for granted until it's not. So what does the oil actually do for us? Well, it has a lot of things that it does. The most obvious one is it lubricates. Lubricates, which means that it provides an anti-wear anti property. Lubricates, uh, I should put and, and anti-wear. So you don't want things to wear. Um, this does not make sense, but I'm putting it anyway. Functions of oil or what, what must, maybe I should instead of functions of oil, it's, you know, what are the good properties of oil? I like that one better, so maybe properties. Properties of oil. Well, it has to lubricate and provide anti-wear. That would make more sense. Uh, it must maintain, oops, maintain proper viscosity. So not only should the oil keep the engine from wearing out, uh, it must also maintain its proper viscosity, which is to say that it must maintain its, its proper thickness, what it was designed for by the engineers to do. Uh, it must provide cooling for the engine. So you thought our engines were air-cooled. Well, to a certain extent, well, mostly, yes, they are air-cooled, but oil plays a very large function in cooling. Case in point, drain all the oil out and see how long it runs. It's going to get very hot. That doesn't really count, does it? That's a joke, because if you take the oil out, what's going to happen? It's going to, see, it's going to get very hot and seize up. So then can we say the engine is cooling? Well, not in that sense. But the, the oil running through the engine is actually picking up heat and dissipating it out. Most engines have oil coolers. And I told you when I went to Lycoming, they said, you see how rough that case is? It's designed that way. It's to dissipate heat off. So, yes? Uh, you said that uh, in a way, yes. Yeah. So, like, for example, water has a very um, low, low viscosity, and maple syrup has very high, high viscosity. Okay. Yes. Um, just to, like, um, so the oil has to provide, the oil has an oil cooler. I guess it's, it's better for the engine to provide cooling. I'm just imagining getting that, like, why is it that cool oil is... Oh, yeah. We're going to get to it, but now's a good time to talk about it because we're thinking about it. So what happens is as you're flying these engines, which are air-cooled, uh, they're subject to the, to, well, if the air is very hot, they cool very poorly. And if the air is extremely cold, then they actually cool very, very well, a little too well, and you have to actually close off some of the air things. Unlike your car, which has a thermostat in the... <coughs> in the water system, the cooling system that opens and closes. And it says, well, you know, the, so when you start it up in the morning, that's going to be closed and it lets the water heat up in the engine and then it'll slowly start adding cooler water as it goes. So airplane engines don't do that. But we do the same thing with the oil in the engine. So you don't want the oil too hot. When it gets too hot, number one, we know it cokes, but that's really hot, right? So it, it has that, that characteristic. But two, if you don't carry off some of the heat, then it just starts Keep, it keeps the heat within the engine. So we want to keep the oil cool so that when it comes through, it picks up some of the more of the heat from the engine and carries it off. And it's going to go through its own oil cooler, just like her, it's an oil radiator. 
and it even has a little thermostat built into it as well. So if the oil is actually cold, it's gonna close that off and keep the oil from going into the radiator. It's called an oil cooler, uh, not a radiator, but it's the same thing and back through. Hopefully that answered the question. Um, it must provide corrosion protection. It must provide hydraulic action. What do you think that means? It's not compressible. Yeah, it's it's not compressible. It is a hydraulic fluid at this point, but why did I why do I need a hydraulic fluid anywhere near the engine? What kind of things? Uh, the lifters, hydraulic lifters. Okay, there's one. One more. I'm looking at Harry. He should know this one. The prop. Prop. Prop uses the pressure to move a piston. So, B, B, C, D, E, F, G, the function of oil, the oil, the property of oil, it should have good thermal stability. Which means as it gets hot, it should not break down and lose its properties. That it must work good when it's actually cold and hot. And also, it must at work as a sealant. Where is it going to act as a sealant? Rings. Oh, good job. Lifters and prop. I'll put that here. Lifters and prop. Seals. Rings. Two cylinder wall. All right. Let's see. Two. I'm just going to follow my notes here. A lubricant. We're going to talk about lubricants, so I don't know. Lubricant. Well, what is a lubricant? A lubricant is a natural or artificial or artificial substance having greasy or oily properties. Hey, right out of the book. <laughs> Which can be used to, which can be used to, well, it's a little bit redundant. We already said this. We'll say it again. Reduce friction. R-E-D-U-C. Reduce friction between parts. Reduce friction between moving parts and prevent rust or corrosion. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't have like uh, cleaning agents. It does. It also we could add that. It also cleans. We should add that. A B C D E F G H I. It cleans. Where did you put E in there? Uh, I was about A B C D. Oops, there was an E. Uh oh, what did I what did I miss? I was gonna say that. Corrosion. Oh well, okay. I got lubrication, maintain proper viscosity. Oh, cleaning. Cleaning is actually in my list. So I'll put that cleaning here. Wherever you want to put it. Cleaning was in my list, sorry. All right, we have a lot of different types of oils. Types of oils. Let's see, and I have um, All right, types of oils. We have, take a guess. Types of animal. Yeah. Animal. Don't believe me here. I'm going to even write it down. Made from animals. Made from animals. Made from animals. Uh, specifically, I don't remember what book I got this out of. It's an aviation book. There's tallow oil. Tallow oil, which is actually cow fat. Isn't that the one that makes you? No. the one from World War I. Castor. There is 
Piggy. Lard. Who said lard? I did. Right on. Lard oil. So we have made from animals. Um, wait a minute. That should actually, I don't know. That should be an animal still. Let me see. Oh, this is we have, oh yeah, types of A is animal. Um, oh yeah, one. Okay, so one. I don't know. Two? I'm, two. We have two. Two. two <laughs> lard oil. Oh, I know what. Okay, lard oil, which is pig fat. Pig fat. All right. We've got uh, I'll, I'll, uh, neat's feet. What is that? Neat's feet. Cows again. Cows again. Shin bone and feet, but not hooves of cattle. <laughs> Very specific. All right. Three. Neat's feet. N e a neat's or it's foot oil. Neat's foot oil. <laughs> foot oil. Um, shin, shin bone. Shin bone. Well, this doesn't make sense. It's a shin bone and feet, but not hooves. I'm not a cattle expert. Uh, what's a foot and what's a hoof? I don't know. But shin bone. Shin bone. And feet, but not hoof. Of cows. There we go, cows. All right, uh, okay, so you can guess. Let me see, the next one is. No. What kind of whale is that? There you go. Yep. Sperm whale, that's from a whale. Do you know why it is called sperm whale? <laughs> I'd rather not explain it. <laughs> it, 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 it. It has the appearance of something. <laughs> That's the name. All right. What's next? That's a porpoise. So we got porpoise oil. Huh? I don't know. Okay, this one wasn't in the book. This one's not in the book, but I thought of it on my own. Oil made from animals, mammals. Where's baby oil come from? <laughs> Although, <laughs> oh, thank you. That's all we have for tonight. <laughs> okay, don't write down baby oil. Baby oil is not, in fact, made from babies, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> all right, so. No, I should. Uh, well, I did this. I went baby oil. Baby oil? Then I put question mark. And that's no. No. Uh, that is a mineral oil. That's mineral oil. Okay, well, then no put it. So, no baby oil. No to baby oil. All right. What, what about these mineral oils? Well, they cannot, can not be used. For internal combustion. Oh, jeez. Is this mineral oil or like animal oil? This is animal oil. All the things we talked about: the the tallow, the lard, the the pictures, the pretty pictures of the animals. Okay, that's cannot be used for internal combustion uh, because engines. Because you're waiting for the because uh, because they produce fatty acids at high temperatures. Produce um, fatty acids at high temp. High temps. Uh, also has a lower, lower.
coefficient of friction friction than mineral than mineral oil. Okay, so who are my vegetarians in the group? Never. Oh, okay, well, one, two, all right. So just, just to prove that we're not being letting you out, we also have vegetable oil. Vegetable, what is vegetable oil? Well, it's made from plants. All right, so what are my vegetable oils? I don't have, I don't have nice pictures. Oil. What? Oil How about castor? Castor oil. Where did we use castor oil? Remember the old, old school radios from castor beans? Castor beans. Uh, we have olive oil uh, made from olives. Um, Rapseed oil uh, made from a rapseed. I don't know what that is, but that's what it is. And we have cottonseed. Cottonseed oil made from cottonseed. Well, okay, well, these have their own problems too. They oxidize. Oxidize when exposed to air, sounds weird, air, let me go up just a little bit. Uh, oxidize is exposed to air and cause gummy conditions and cause gummy conditions. Conditions in the engine. Mm. So what do they use now? Because if they use castor oil back then for when they re-bottle or like... Well, don't get ahead of me. You gotta find out. You gotta stay tuned and watch. <laughs> um, causes steel to wear rapidly, which tells me it's got a, a low coefficient of um, friction. So causes steel to wear rapidly. Kevin? Yeah. In that case, would that make it a good like tap oil or something like that? Um. No, I don't know. So there wouldn't be any kind of use for it to wear steel rapidly? Not, oh, you don't actually wear out the steel when you tap it, so it's just, it, it almost, to me, that means it's just not a good lubricant. And lower coefficient of friction and then mineral. So what, so far is the winner? Mineral. mineral, okay, let's talk about mineral. And that's, that was the game, animal, vegetable, or mineral. Mineral, well, there we are. Primarily used in combustion engines. Primarily used in combustion. That's what we're going to use. And actually, you're going to find out that's pretty much all we're going to be using in our, in our aircraft engines. Uh, piston engines, that is. Uh, mineral oil or, or mineral lubricants can be classified as solid, semi-solid, and fluid. Solid, semi-solid and fluid. Let's look at our solids. <coughs> All right, give me some solids here. What do you guys think? Can you go one line down? <coughs> well, you are way behind. That's why I say it when I write it, so you don't have to look. I can't tell you. <laughs> solids. All right, somebody's going to be some solids. Alan's going to wake up and give me some solids. Graphite. Graphite. Thank you. Graphite. Yeah, he knows a lot of things, trust me. <laughs> I've actually asked him, I said, shh, you gotta let other people answer because he knows almost all the answers. Yeah, I know. All, right. all right, what else? Okay, we got the pump, we got the pump primed. Alan gave me one. Uh, would lead be considered? Uh, 
how about Micah? Nobody said Micah. Yeah, what's Micah? I don't know. It's for Micah. <laughs> I don't know. What is <laughs> And soapstone. What about beeswax? What? Beeswax. Oh, oh bee. Well. Yeah, that's a. It's well, it's made from bees and it's wax. So yeah. I don't know. So it's. I love beeswax, but it's not on here. Uh, what's the problem with this? It does does not dissipate heat well. So while it may lubricate, not so much at dissipating heat. I really I don't know what mica is. I know what soapstone is. I actually use soapstone when I weld and write on metal and stuff. That's I use a soapstone. Good marker, not so much lubricant. But graphite, we use a lot of graphite. What do you use of graphite? Door locks. No, that's not door locks. Um, it turbans, doesn't. right? Aren't there seals made out of graphite and turbans? It might be. I didn't work on them. All right, does not dissipate heat well. And so they are mainly used in light lubrication, especially when freezing can be a problem, such as firearms and locks. So mainly used. Mainly used in light lubrication. Well, don't forget Teflon. That's not a mineral. That's a man-made product. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Mainly used in light lubrication. How far can I go? Can I go? Because I'm on number three, solid. Three, where, where I'm writing right now? Well, you caught up fast. All right. Mainly used in light lubrication, especially, especially when. Freezing could be a problem. And I put firearms and locks and firearm locks. All right, and then we have semi solid. It's actually one word, I made it two. All right, so semi-solid. Right, give me some, what do you think? Grease, okay. Extremely heavy uh, oils. Like I'm thinking gear oil and grease. And greases. Um, bearing oil. Bearing oil. I'm not familiar with bearing oil. That's grease. <laughs> that's, that's, that's grease. I just put the red stuff, I goop onto my hands, and I throw it all over there. Grease is a mixture of oil and soap. So you can take a shower with it. Um, and what do we use grease for? Well, for this is gears. Not, I don't know why, gears and hot running equipment. I disagree a little bit in that, um, well, we'll go with that. So grease, grease the mixture of oil and soap, and this book said, well, that's for gears, not running equipment. Well, we don't really use that in aircraft for our gears. We use oil. Um, oops, I didn't mean to put three. Oh, I messed up here. Okay, so A, we'll come back here to A. Oil, there we go. Oil and sodium. Soap. Soap. For gears and hot running equipment. And B, oil and calcium soap. Oil and calcium soap. So a different kind of soaps. Uh, that is cup grease. And then I'll do this one, oil and aluminum soap, oil and aluminum soap, soap, ball bearings and high pressure, so ball bearings, and high pressure application. I'm going to make a note here for you. 
Uh, be on the lookout for this. EP. Extreme pressure. You actually see that in aviation. EP greases or an EP application, that's extreme pressure. All right, so that's our semi-solid, which is a grease, right? And there's all kinds of uses for grease. Uh, we don't call it bearing oil. <laughs> Just call it grease. So have bearings and stuff in there. Then we get into the fluids. What is my fluid? Oil. Right, what kind of oil? <laughs> bearing oil. <laughs> <laughs> Oils, all right, used, used as a primary lubricant in engines. Used as a primary lubricant, lubricant in engines because, and I'm out of paper, I gotta move over, I gotta wait. So you're gonna tell me when it's safe. Uh, I'm not moving until Janet says I can move. <laughs> okay. No. She's sitting close and she can throw stuff at me. That's why I wear safety glasses. Sorry, I have them up typed out. You got it? Okay. Because otherwise it's getting really boring. Well, this is a good time to tell the story. I don't have any good stories. I just told you a story about my brother, not someone well, I am. Well, there's a story about how Al got oil on your head, but you're All right. Well, we did fluids because primary, because, why is it a primary? Okay. Well, here's my because reasons. It is easily pumped. We can easily pump this around the engine. It would really suck to try and pump grease around the engine or grease everything up. Easily sprayed. Is it really 916? Whoa! All right, that's it for tonight. Now we're gonna have to find out the rest of it because there's like a whole bunch of them. So.